Well, let's go ahead and get into our mailbag segment. This is where you, the Game Day Nation, sends us questions via email at gamedaymagazine at AOL.com or via our Twitter account at GBN Mobile. And right now, George, we throw up the first question from Joe Cool 20147. What's he say? Joe Cool's got something to say every week. He does. This I like week it. he's saying a good question. We discussed this uh, uh, off the air. Besides having more people present, what can student sections do uh, to be uh, to be better in the spirit battles? To win these spirit battles? Well, in better and just in general, what do we do to make the atmospheres better is how I read it. And, and the answer is tenfold. There's a couple, I guess, um, four or five things that we would highlight. Number one, you got to have a Twitter account. If you don't have a Twitter account by now, you're not getting anybody going. Because that's how these kids are, are talking nowadays, Bruce. Now, hold on, let me finish. Uh -oh. I know that confuses you. You're talking about during the game? I, no, no, I'm talking about what can they do to get more support. I, that's how I read the question. What can student sections do more to become better in, in, in the big picture, okay? This is what I think. In order to get people excited about it, you got to get the word out. You got to get the freshmen that nobody's talking to at lunch to come to the games. You got to sit down with them and, and make them feel part of the student section. You got to, you know, you got to have T-shirts that everybody can wear. You got to have again people yapping on Twitter. But then more importantly, you got to watch the game and cheer for the game, right? Because that's one thing I've seen is there's only a few crowds out there that really follow the game of football and they know when to cheer, and they know when to scream, and they know when to get loud. If it's third down and your team's on defense, you ought to be as loud as you possibly can be. That's what they do in the college game. That home field advantage comes from when your other team is getting ready to go on a drive and it's third down and seven, and you are on your feet making as much noise as possible. These student sections obviously don't really do that, Bruce. They're watching the game. They're not being a part of the game. They're not making a difference in the way the game is played on the field. When it's loud, it causes problems for the offense. You see that in college. You don't see that as much in high school. So those are, just, those are some things that I would you say. You lost me at Twitter. Well, I know that, but you everybody know, loses you, you, you at Twitter. You don't need to sit there in a lunchroom and Twitter <laughs> the freshmen and tell them to go to the game. You go as an upperclassman and say, you will be at the game Friday night, won't you? And, yes, you you, you – face to face that's the whole problem with this thing we need a little face to face interaction here, a little verbal communication forget this twitter stuff well you got kids sitting across the table from each other twittering back and forth that's exactly what they did i know well we got to get out of that and we start talking and start getting people to come you're right in in several senses here though yeah dress up get into the game pay attention to what's going on get loud get loud when you're supposed to get loud Get on the other team by being loud, not by being obnoxious and not by being disrespectful. We're not talking about that at all. There are, I've seen this season, three teams that get it. Three student sections that actually do it right. If you want to find out how to do it, go watch them. First one is Woodgrove. I've been telling you this for years. You go watch the Woodgrove student section, they get it. The other one was at the same game, Herndon and South Lakes. South Lakes was into until they got blown out. But <laughs> no, no. But early on, I mean, South Lakes, they were cheering when they were supposed to be cheering. They were all dressed in the same thing. You look at a sea of colors. You watch the college games last week. You watch that Mississippi game, right? Or Mississippi State game. How much was maroon in the, in the bleachers? 99% of it. Wear your stu school colors if you're not going to dress up. Oh, shut up, George. Get into the game. And the other big thing I'm going <laughs> to leave you with, travel. Get on the road, get in the car, and go to the road games and do the same thing. Agreed. Woo. All right. Joe, Joe got Bruce I've fired totally up. forgotten what the question was, right. but I have a suggestion. What's that? Manchester United. They <laughs> sing uh, When You Walk Through a Storm from Carousel. I knew learn that. A, get, learn a song, uh, a theme, get a theme yeah. song, and sing it during the game like the soccer fans in Europe do, and you will. This is something new. This is something cutting edge. You'll become the spirit champions of Northern <laughs> Virginia. Good.